Hey everyone, gonna have to get used to pointing and looking towards there. Welcome back to All of Ash and Dust and welcome to the slightly improved uh, webcam setup here on the Mr. Sketchhead channel. Yeah, I finally invested, well not, <laughs> I talk about it like it's a fucking car, but I finally got one of these like uh, webcam mounts with a built-in light because my other one first of all i could only set it up like right there far away uh, which meant i looked like a gnome in most of the videos um and second of all it didn't have a light so you couldn't even see what the hell i was doing half the time so i got one of these it's like a combined light and um a webcam mount works pretty well that's why i'm slightly recording later the normal and why the video is gonna be because I was setting this up and kind of figuring out the shut the fuck up I'm interrupting him mid speech cuz that's how much of a fuck I don't give the character I mean so I was like messing around with like the lights and there's like three light modes and uh, I think this is the best one but We'll see, we'll see. It'll be better for streams as well. Uh, much easier, because if I need to adjust, I can like, just r reach out and touch it. A la Depeche mode. Um, making it much easier, you know. To like, adjust and everything. I feel like I'm gonna like, wreck him. Yep. Kinda what I was expecting. And the other thing I've been doing um, off YouTube is just been like selling some like old music gear. That's the other reason I'm late, is because I was packing up one of my things that I sold. Uh, which made me realize, you know, now that I've been selling shit. Um, how like horrible and non-user friendly fucking eBay is. Like, I don't know if you, any of you guys have ever tried selling anything on eBay. It's such a gigantic hassle to post something. Like, it's one of the least user friendly interfaces I think I've ever seen. Oh, this creates the darkness mode. Holy shit. That's unexpected, because normally that only happens if you kill Guinevere. Interesting. So yeah, eBay is like posting thingy is like not user friendly at all. Which means I use reverb much better. Um, it's like an actual, it's, a, it's like eBay, but it's dedicated specifically for like music gear so works much better in my opinion but that's just a bit size the point so I've been like doing that plus of course getting these things the good thing is that it sounds like <laughs> I don't know I, I like reinvest the money you know like I use it to improve the setup and all that there's a couple of things I still need to get. Um, I like this webcam setup now, this is all good. But, you know, because I also use this for like music video recordings for Instagram. <clears throat> Mr. Underscore Sketch had follow me. Is that, oh fuck, well, wait a second. Because there was like a Shadow Realm boss there. But getting to that thing has to be annoying as all hell because yeah because of the platform I have to like raise it and lower it each time this looks much better by the way the skybox here I don't know if this is just part of the remastered PC version because it's like not fully dark it's not fully night because I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I've ever done this 
in the remaster. So that could be the reason. But here's what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is that if I'm here, and if what's her name is going to be hostile anyways, I think this is the perfect chance to get a second Firekeeper Soul. Right? I think so. For that, let's level up though. God, I'm never gonna get 20, am I? Needed for that spell. Um, after we're done here, I'm going to the DLC. Uh, all the way. Return to the DLC. Cause that's pretty much all that we've got to... I mean, there's like stuff like... Oh, shit. Well. I completely missed that. And I wish I didn't because... I found like four Demon Tide Knights since I've struggled for like half an hour fighting that annoying ass Lost Islith Tide Knight Demon. But oh well. So yeah, really the DLC is the main the main attraction. I mean there's things like Ash Lake which I mean I could explore. I could have a look around Ash Lake and the Great Hollow. Maybe things are a little bit different. I don't know, we'll see. I am really hoping she's here. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, sorry. I kind of like you, though. I like I like this firekeeper, but well, sorry. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. All right, we gotta backtrack all the fucking way to Firelink. Which actually shouldn't be too difficult using the warp system. Man, I really like this skybox. I rarely go for um, Dark and Orlando because really, just playing the game normally, you're doing like a challenge run or something. Is like no point in really doing this. So, you know, this is like a rare, a rare treat for the boy. And yeah, I, I like the skybox. I like the skybox a lot with the clouds. This looks way better in the remastered, even though, you know, the cathedral itself, the textures are still kind of wonky, I would say. Whatever. Finally got my second Firekeeper Soul. And, you know, really like... I've been looking out for them, so I doubt I missed any, unless I'm like really blind slash stupid, which if you've been around on the channel you know that's possible. Ouch. Man, this Artorius sword is really like... These guys are not having a good time. Nine sixty. It's probably because you know I'm doing the pyromancy. Oh, the demons disappeared. I'm doing the pyromancy uh, upgrades as well, and this thing I think still scales off of uh, faith and intelligence. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do some like fucky uh, back and forth here because the Anor not the Anor the DLC warp point is right here. But I need to visit the Firekeeper, so 
Bear with me just a second here. I might just sacrifice a Homeward Bone for this. I only have seven though. You know what? It's gonna be worth it because this is the Ula Seal one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna have to do. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Man, I'm really liking this webcam stand. Like. The light is really the thing that separates it. The thing is, I I have a light which is like an actual clip-on kind of little studio lamp, but there are several issues with it. Um, one of them is that it produces kind of more of like an orangey warm light, which never looks that good for like filming purposes. I mean. <laughs> Why am I yawning? Thanks. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the light. The second thing is that it's kind of shitty. It's on a US plug still because I bought it in the States. And um, it also gets like really, really fucking hot. I wonder how like warm this... Nah, this is not getting warm at all because this is LED. And that one is like an actual bulb. So this is like the superior Chad setup. Can't believe it's taking me this long to get one of these. Got that thing that looks nice. Except for the shoulder clip. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of... Tomorrow is gonna be the day I'm starting a new stream. The people have spoken, uh, not many people, but some people have spoken on my uh, sketchy Saturdays. Um, I asked whether you want to see Sekiro or Dark Souls 3, and more people wanted to see Dark Souls 3. Uh, so I think Sekiro is going to be uh, this type of game, like a video series. You know what, I'm looking forward to playing some Dark Souls 3. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but hey, let's go for it. Let's go for it. And try making a miracle build, because something I've not done before. So where was I here? I think... Yeah, I'm like, I got pretty far in Ulusil. So we should be generally okay with proceeding. Slash proceedings, if you're in court. What the fuck am I even saying? Yeah, listen, I ain't taking no risks here. Ouch. Yeah, you guys are having a lot worse time than you did before, didn't you? Hey, another one of these useless heads. I feel like I don't I don't know what the hell was going on with me when I came here for the first time. I felt like I was dying a lot. Maybe because I was a way weaker. Alright, peace out. This is the fucking like one World Trade Center doesn't have an elevator as fast as this thing. Like, they were on some magic bullshit when they came up with this. <laughs> oh man, this weapon. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. The damage there was... Oh! Interesting. It's a little bit insane. Okay. 
Do we not get the music? We don't get the music. Yeah. Nothing can stand. Oh shit. What the hell is this? Abyssal vessel. It's a new item. Which does... As soon as I can find it... Explodes inflicting dark damage. Okay, well, that's what I was thinking. There was a tiny, tiny part of me that hoped it would be one of those tracking... Like homing soap mass type deals that uh, Dark Souls 3 has that the enemies use. But I guess that's not it. How am I doing on these ferryman things? I have like jack shit, don't I? Corrode this flint. See, these flints, I have no idea what to do with. Um. I don't know. I'm sure you can like give it to someone or probably there's like some unique NPC. Or like one of the NPCs has a changed like role that I just haven't figured out yet. Dark of the... Oh, come on. <laughs> this is the one thing that I don't like. I'm going to be honest with you. Um... That like fucking half of the areas in this game have a health drain mechanic. Like, like constantly having your health drained is is not fun. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's okay for like one or two areas, but seriously, Blight Town did it. Um, this area does it. The Demon Ruins, Lost Isolid did it. And even the cold areas had something. But Oh man, this is... This drains so much. Oh, come on. Fucking seriously. <sighs> Manus is gonna be a nightmare. Manus is already difficult. Like having your fucking health drained constantly. Please tell me that the doggo a la Sif offers protection. I, think I might need to extra kindle the bonfire there at the start. You said I have 15 flasks. Alright, they're dead. Nope, it's still going. How much does that drain? 11 points of damage every second. That's that's significant. That's That's a lot. Like, you can physically see it. It's not like... It's like slowly decreasing. You can physically see your health bar drain. <sighs> okay, time to use a homeward bone. I'm just gonna have to make a beeline towards Manus here. Yeah, again, and as I say, like, this mechanic normally I'm okay with when it's like it's like one or two areas that do it not fucking like uh three or four of them oh well because then like you if you're going with this you can have a health drain for every single area you know, like fucking New Londo, the presence of the ghosts drains your HP. I don't know, Undead Parish, 
the sun is shining, you're getting skin cancer, it's draining your HP. Like, Sans Fortress, I don't know, the tar pit is, I don't know, made of shit or something, it smells, drains your HP. You know. Oh, the holy fuck, um... This is this is ins this is insane. Um, you know I like to get my bitch on occasionally, but what? Okay. I was not expecting this. Okay, this changes this changes things. Fine game, fine. I'm going to stop bitching then. I guess I really got shown, didn't I? What happens if you get your bitch on constantly? What the hell? Primeval man consumed abyss. Wa what? Care? I'm killing manas. It's still draining your HP. I mean, I thought I was gonna be free of this mechanic. Wait, he's attacking me as well. Hold on. This is not entirely fair. I mean, they're fighting. They're do they're duke hazarding it out, but what the fuck is going on here? Oh god, I don't have the pendant, do I? Yeah, I didn't pick up the pendant like an idiot. Okay, it's not focused on me. Yeah, okay. I'm killing you with my with your own sword. I was going to say I'd rather fart, fight Artorias, but I may live to regret saying that. Definitely. Well, I mean, that was a that was my screw up. I I was going to dodge to the side, but just didn't happen. This is an interesting... Yeah, definitely Artorias is the way to go. And in fact... Oh, interesting. <laughs> Maybe it cannot put you... Yeah, I'm, kin I'm kindling this. I'm kindling this for sure. Maybe it cannot put you at the top because of the... I mean, I like here, because it counts as a boss arena. I don't think it can be used as a respawning place. Yeah, we gotta get this thing to at least 15. What? What? Oh, you've gotta be shitting me. But I rested at that bonfire, didn't I? Or are there two of them? Are there two bonfires here? What the hell? I have to be like stoned or something, right? What happens if you summon Sif though? 
Like, does he, jo does she join you in the, okay. There are several things we need to have a look at here, seriously. Does it work like Gale? Yeah, it works like Gale. Or maybe not. It does. It does. Oh, fucking hell, seriously. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like Gale. That's why you kindle this fucking bonfire. Ah, oh, he's going for that one. Somehow this is going a lot worse than the previous attempt. Come on, Sif. Sif, come on out. Did I? Well, okay, maybe Sif, you're not needed. Um, well, but thanks, though. Thank you. You did good, Pop. Good, good. Was the, is that meant to happen, though? That's my question, then. Because... Strange. Or did I just glitch this fight out and you're like, not... Yeah, there are two bonfires here. No, there isn't. But then what the... Interesting, so if you... This really is a fucked up bonfire. Because can you like toggle between... Yeah, okay, so that's what's going on. Well... How am I doing on time? I think this makes like a pretty perfect little episode here. Uh, interestingly, I don't think I received anything from that fight. Like Manus' soul or something like that. Strange. Maybe I'm missing something. I did get a shit ton of souls though, so... Calamite? I don't know, man. Like, I'm debating whether I'm in the mood to fight Calamite. Um, it's just Calamite, you know. So, yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of... Of ash and dust. I'll catch all of you next time. Hope you like this new setup. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Turn on post notifications. Make sure to join tomorrow's stream for some Dark Souls 3 action. More announcements on that later, as always, on Discord and on YouTube as well. Anyways, take care, guys. Peace out, and see you next time. Goodbye.